this is the bicep, then like this will be his arm. So his elbow will be yeah, like very yeah, like, like almost like sharp almost, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm an anime fan in such an unconventional world. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like, that. like that. that. That is cool. Okay. Yes, add awesome. that. I've always seen myself as like a saying. It's perfect. But I'm, I'm an athlete. I'm an anime fan. And at one point in time, those two were mutually exclusive. And this is your character that you came this yeah. completely made up. Definitely in the NFL, we're all supposed to be at the club partying with supermodels. No, I watch anime. I'm, I'm gonna do something different. This ain't even a quarter of my tapes. Packers defensive lineman Mike Daniels loves anime the colorful, action-packed animated shows from Japan, a passion that began for him as a kid growing up in New Jersey. One of my favorite anime is Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was really good. And then Pokemon, the whole Pokemon craze. And then I saw Dragon Ball Z. And that's when I was like, okay, this show is amazing. <laughs> Them kids had to have those tapes, and they would go home and watch them. When a new series would come out or something, and the kids would just be like, Papa, Papa, come here, Papa. You think. <laughs> There's a new series out. It's called Cowboy Bebop. And I would take them, and I'd get volume 1 through 12, the whole series, OK, and, and bring it home. And so they would watch so because after volume one, they were going to be the next day, Papa, please, <laughs> take us to get volume two. And he would do it. He did a lot of the things people would classify as a geek, you know, as a nerd, as a shut-in. My brother wasn't always big. My brother was skinny. Beanstalk, man, guy was skinny. Anime also helped you through kind of a dark period of your childhood. Yeah. How did it help you? I dealt with a significant amount of bullying. I remember one time when I was like in sixth grade, this dude, he was like huge. And he like grabbed me up and like, like against the locker. You know, that just was a real like gut punch. Just like, dang, there's like, I'm like helpless in this situation. I said, Mike, what's wrong, son? Soon as I said that, the waterworks. He was crying like I never saw him cry before. His nose is running and he's like, Papa. It's this kid at school, and he just keeps bullying me and bullying me and bullying me, and he won't stop. And I can't beat him, Papa. I can't beat him. My heart melted. Oh, my gosh. What, what do you do? I said, today, we're going to start getting in shape. We're going to start exercising. And I made out a chart, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He would always have us do, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, squat jumps. He's looking at his heroes working out in such a fashion. And he's like, they can do that. I can do my jumps and sit-ups and push-ups. Next thing was, Pop, when can I lift weights? I said, man, I'm going to get so big, nobody's going to mess with me. I thought he was huge. I thought he was big. That's when he was a big Mike. Anime and my training, they go hand in hand. These characters had a similar deal. They deal with these villains who can pummel them into the dirt, and then they come back and they're bigger, stronger, and way more prepared and confident than they were before. So naturally, Daniels has more than just a few ideas for his own anime character, complete with a supervillain that he calls Siren. Anime Mike Daniels, right? He's just walking down the street, mind his business, hands in his pockets, because it's cold outside. And then here we go, Siren falls out of a spaceship. He needs to go to the pharmacy. He needs to get his meds. You know, it's cold outside. He's got a, he's sick. So Mike sees Siren at the pharmacy. He knows Siren's a bad guy unbeknownst to the person working at the pharmacy. Let's call her Anna. You know what I mean? Can we call her Michelle? We'll call her Michelle. Call her Michelle. And uh, there's nothing wrong with self-inserted characters. 
Sauron finally says, you know what? That's right. I was going to blow up the planet today, but I just needed to get my medicine because I was sick. I need to cure this cold that I got going on. Your atmosphere is weird. But now, forget that. I want to fight you. And then Mike just does this. Bam! Right on aisle 10. 